Hello. I missed menu planning Saturday because it was my husband's birthday and we had a whole bunch of stuff going on, so it's menu planning Sunday. Also, starting midday, day before yesterday, my eyelid up here started to swell. And then this morning I woke up with it swollen over here and over here. And I don't know why. I've changed no soaps. I've stopped, um, I stopped washing my face like a week ago, just with all of the cat stuff. Um, and uh, yeah, I don't, I have no idea why. It doesn't hurt, doesn't itch. My eyes aren't pink or red. There's no discharge. It just feels like, you know when you cry and your eyes just feel that like puffiness? That's what it feels like, except I haven't cried. I don't know. So for lack of a better pun, we'll be keeping an eye on this. But yeah, yesterday was my husband's birthday. We went to a green market to get breakfast. And um, I every year we've been together. Um, I make him a pumpkin dessert because when I learned that he liked pumpkin things when we started dating, I was like, I will always make you something pumpkin for your birthday. And the only year I didn't was when um, I was still in the hospital after having my son. So um, I made him pumpkin cream cheese muffins and he requested southern mac and cheese for dinner so I made that um and could have put like bacon bits or green onions on it and yeah it was just the type of day I am looking quite haggard between the hair and my eyes talk about a little dip in self-esteem my goodness <laughs> let's get to the menu plan so um I can go hide in a hole for a bit or at least put some cucumber slices on my eyes all right, we had one rollover, which was the sweet potato breakfast casserole. Um, and then I had to find new things. So for the first night of Hanukkah, we don't keep kosher. We don't hold um, special service dinners, anything like that. Um, but I like to make something a little different. Um, so for the first night of Hanukkah, um, I will have egg salad, tuna salad with matzah and fruit. Then there's pasta with peas and pesto. The recipe calls for making pesto from scratch and I'm probably just going to get the jarred pesto from Aldi because um, I don't have the stamina to make pesto from scratch right now or all of the ingredients. So probably after I buy the ingredients, it costs the same as a jarred pesto. I have a honey garlic pork tenderloin in the freezer, so I'm thinking of using my teriyaki chicken casserole, and but I'm going to put the pork instead of the chicken. That sounds halfway decent. And I have my last container of Cur Curly's pulled pork, and my mom likes that over baked potatoes, so I'm going to do that, the pulled pork over baked potatoes for her. Um, and I think I have down, I'm going to pair it with green beans. Yes, with green beans. Um, so yeah, that's the story. All right, I'm going to go out and help my husband finish making breakfast. I just found Darth Vader's little lightsaber. And I should go give that to my son because he's probably wondering where it went. Um, but yeah, okay. Hopefully next time I see you, it looks not as puffy in my eyes. I'm tired, my goodness. And its I don't think the puffiness is from being tired. I don't think, can it be? Wouldn't it be bags versus like up here? I have no idea. Okay, I'm gonna go now. I hope you're having a good weekend and I'll talk to you later. Bye.